first, it kicked off my phone, uh, was that uh, another, when we're, when we're using words and choosing words, uh, learning what they mean uh, is very important. And uh, the, the, word, the two words I want to compare against each other for everybody to think about is the word truth and the word true. Okay? If you ever look at some of the examples that you've been shown through this thing, uh, you'll see the he's, uh, all, all herein be true. It doesn't say everything here is the truth. And so what I want everybody to wrap their head around is that when something is true, it means that it simply is. It exists and it's precisely what is observed, what is seen. Truth, on the other hand, is a social concept. It requires a group of people to recognize a particular thing that somebody claims is true and provide consensus and a vote to say we agree. That's what truth is. Truth is a concept and something that is true simply is. That is why it has been often said that if you tell a lie long enough, often enough, it will become a truth, like the flat earth idea and everything else. Uh, weapons of mass destruction. Uh, you can talk about all kinds of things. If it gets said over and over and over, the public believes that it is the truth, even though it's not true. Yeah, there so, is nothing about that. So when we're using words, try not to step into that bucket of poop. <laughs> because if you it's truth, if you if you tell a judge or a lawyer that something is the truth, he's going to take you apart. Because now you're going to have to prove that there's a consensus of people that believe the same thing. And if you just say that it's true, now it's just up for everybody else to disagree with. You don't have to prove it. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, pretty much. After the thanks, for that, thanks for that insight. That's all in the word.